<laughs> Hello, dear friends. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the Majestic Family Channel. Uh -huh. My name is Jory, and this is my lovely wife, Vinime Orby. Please make sure you have subscribed to our channel and comment down below so we can stay in touch. Don't forget to like, share, turn on your notification bell so you know when a new video comes out. Thank you. All right, today, today I am taking the older two children to a visit mm -hmm. to the Sugar Shack. Ellie and I have um, somewhere to be later on. Well, Ellie and Jory. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I have to stay behind and get her ready. So I was mm -hmm. like, why don't you just take the older two? And so we're going to do a quick little outing to my yes. friend Darren yeah. and his brother Mike. And we're going to check out the Sugar Shack. <laughs> what is the Sugar Shack? <laughs> Let's find out. Are you guys excited to go see the Sugar Shack? Yeah, I'm just tired. Javen just woke up from his nap. I don't want to be up. <laughs> I'm going to go back to bed. <laughs> Can you say something to our dear friends? Hi. Bella, do you want to say hi? Yeah, hi guys. I'm tired. So the kids just woke up from their nap, so bear with us. here. So if you guys haven't already guessed what a sugar shack is. So there's my buddy Darren. Yeah, a sugar shack is simply uh, where they cook down sap from maple trees to make maple syrup. And so uh, my buddy, his brother, actually uh, runs one of these operations and we're going to get a tour. And you guys get to come with us. You ready? All right, we're headed into the sugar shack. Oh wow, that is cool. Or hot, I should say. <laughs> oh, I can feel that. It's hot. Fire's hot. So the interesting thing about that box is, the box only comes back here, and then it jumps up, and then we have an angle up to the top, so the heat hits the box here so that it boils back here because if it was you know a full tank all the way back there you'll force the heat up and oh, okay heat that's boils. a unique design to create a way for the heat to hit the back oh, no, just that's, as that's what youtube's for ah <laughs> yes it is shout out to youtube <laughs> i've watched i've watched uh, way more hours than my wife knows about okay. on youtube and maybe sort of guys and things like that okay yeah, that was another upgrade we did quite a while ago. One of the um, first years, this whole ceiling was dripping. You know, you'd get dripped oh, on okay. from all the condensation. Okay, okay, so there's therefore now no condensation. Right. No condensation. Well, less condensation. <laughs> so here's the sap coming in this line yeah. from the tank outside. It wraps around the exhaust. The uh, smokestack. A little preheater. Pre Warms it up a little, huh? A little bit. Is it? Probably not much, is it? Not much. Oh, can I taste it? Yeah. Absolutely. At your own risk. Yeah, it's just slightly sweet. You guys want to try it? You guys want to taste some sap? What does it taste like, buddy? I don't know. It just tastes sweet. Sweet water. Yeah. It's kind of just like sweet water, isn't it? Sweet water. That's pretty cool. And then it's coming out this little tap here down into the... Yeah, this well, is just kind of so a preheater. Okay. And so how do you know when to bottle it up? Well, from, okay, so from here, we pull it out when it's really close. Okay. Um, and we know it's close because we've done it so long we can tell by the bubbles. Okay. Basically. Read then, the bubbles. Then we dump it in what we call our finishing pan. And that has a thermometer on okay. the front of it. It's it turns into sap at seven degrees above boiling. Huh. So not, that's not necessarily two hundred and twelve degrees either. It, it varies. Huh. So we have a thermometer on here. And that tells us when we're getting pretty close. And then we have a hydrometer that we actually use hydrometer. to tell when it's actually syrup. He, he doesn't look like a scientist, does he? <laughs> <laughs> That's because I'm not a scientist. I watch a lot of YouTube. 
Don't don't let these shrocks fool you. They're yeah. smart fellers. My brother's smart. I'm just got I just got all the looks. I'll say. <laughs> Skimming off some yeah, foam. Yeah, some, some foam. It, you kind of see it's a little a little dirty in there maybe. A okay. Bit. Okay. And that's just going to help us later on when we uh, bottle as we filter. This all will make. That one? Really? Yeah, shoot an old milk jug. Um, and we hang these. Darren wants me to drink some scalding syrup. It gets lighter here and it progressively gets darker. But in about an hour, this will be dark. dark. Like maple syrup dark? Like maple syrup dark. <laughs> I like it at this stage. <laughs> he likes to drink it. Yes, it's... Jan, Darren's drinking sugar. Oh wow, that is really sweet. You guys want to try it? No, it's not that hot. It's hot, but it's not like it won't burn you. Let's see what you think. What do you think? It's very hot, but it's sweet. It's good, isn't it? You want to try it, bud? I'm good. Okay. Well, I better finish it off. <laughs> Let it go to waste. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really good. That's awesome. It looks like, I mean, just like what you'd buy. It's dark. That's sweeter. All right. Now we'll try some real syrup here. Oh, you just <laughs> you yeah. ripped on your chin. <laughs> That's all right, I'll save That's that for later. <laughs> <laughs> mm, wow, that is really sweet. Um, boiling it or making it hotter makes it thicker. I guess, yeah. Yeah. Water it takes turns, about water turns to steam and leaves, and then all you have left is sugar. The sugar doesn't evaporate with the steam. Does that make sense? Yeah. So all the steam you see leaving is the water content from what's in the sap, and what's left is the sugar and maybe a little bit of liquid. Fun fact: What do you get? Forty gallons of sap to one gallon of syrup. That's a good rule of thumb. 40? Uh, some years it's less, some years more. More. so okay. what we have up in the tank out there was what, just 70 gallon or so, so that'll make just a little under two gallons of syrup. I don't know if you can tell, but this is all homemade. Is it? Yeah. What kind of, what kind of wood is this that you're using to burn? Uh, I don't know. Don't say it's maple, please. Uh, that, that just seems mean, doesn't it? This one, man, this might actually be maple. I'm not real sure. <laughs> Isn't that like boiling a young goat in its mother's milk? Right, yeah. <laughs> all right, we're all down at the sugar shack. Bella, what did you think? I thought it was cool. It was fun to see how it was made. I, honestly, I thought you cooked, like, it's a giant pot uh -huh. over the over a <clears throat> campfire, and you pour the maple syrup, and I, didn't, I had no idea. David, what did you think, bud? It was cool. You liked it? What do you guys think about tasting the sap and the oh, maple that was syrup? So good. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, the sap wasn't that bad. It was kind of like slightly sweet mm -hmm. water, and then the maple syrup was really sweet. We wasn't have a it? maple tree because we Bella took off some of the sap and yeah. it was sweet water. Okay, yeah, yeah that's there, the one. We have a maple tree. Yeah. In our backyard. I want to try and tap. You want to try and cook it and yeah. make maple syrup? Yeah. <laughs> so that was our visit to the sugar shack. Thanks to our friends. Mm -hmm. Darren and Mike. Good morning. We have decided since we were visiting the Sugar Shack that today we would have some pancakes and maple syrup. So uh, we got a little spread here. Ben and May made a beautiful breakfast. I like being creative, so yeah. I thought that was cool that they made it out of what did they call it? A propane tank? Was yeah, it a propane the, tank? The actual, and then the tray yeah. that an Amish guy made? I thought that was really cool. Yeah, that was an old propane tank that they turned into their little furnace stove, their cooking stove for the maple <laughs> syrup. Javen, what'd you think, bud? Uh, it was cool. It was okay. I'm not much of a fan because I don't really care for maple syrup. I know. What? You don't like maple syrup? I had it before and I had, if I had to choose, it would be honey. Yeah, Javen likes to eat his pancakes with honey, honey. so we do have a bottle of honey for him. But yeah. we... But it was creative. I it was really was interesting, it. wasn't it, that from these trees we can have this natural sugar from God. Good morning, my lady. Good morning, darling. That's the <laughs> How are you? 
We were just talking about our sugar sack visit. Oh yeah, we didn't go. Ellie and I didn't. Yeah, go. you and Ellie didn't get. You would have loved it. By the way, Eliana's sleeping. In case you're wondering, right? She has not woken up, which is strange. Cause it seems like when I'm home and Joe is home, Ellie likes to take her time sleeping. <laughs> But, or when it's just Jory, she sleeps well. But with me, it's like the girl can hear me when I go upstairs. Like, cause She's our like, rooms oh, are both I'll downstairs. I'll get up now too. <laughs> yeah, she, I'm walking. So today I was like really slow. I was like, trying not to make any Don't noise. Don't make a noise on the, <laughs> but that first step makes that sound. Right, but I was quiet going <laughs> past the room today. Oh, yeah. Usually I, I don't pick up my feet. <laughs> I'm, oh, the, I'm okay. that walker. The and slider. She'll hear me as soon as I'm about to take the steps. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> honey, you look pretty. You look very nice this morning. Shout out to my wife who doesn't need any makeup, just wakes up hot. Okay. <laughs> actually, I have some lip stuff on and I did a little bit of my eyebrows, but nothing uh, on my No, no foundation. Not much, yeah, you look great, honey. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, like your hair. Me too. Oh, you like my hair. I'm trying something new. I wanted mm -hmm. to try a bun. It's uh, cute, honey. Yeah. They're matching. My hair um is long enough where I can put in a little point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also struggling with like alopecia in the middle of my mm -hmm. head. So it's actually growing. I'm wondering if it's oh. like the different because I'm eating differently. You're eating now. a little healthier than yeah. than I normally let us eat. <laughs> George's a bad influence. I eat horribly. It's all right, honey. It's like a lot of hoses and those little what do you call those things? Valves. Valves, and yeah. it was just funny. It was like looking at a bunch of plumbing, but to was, think that there's maple syrup going uh -huh. through it. It was kind of a big like science experiment. You like yeah, you're almost in like cool. a country lab. Well, or that's what I asked you guys. Did you find out how it turns brown? So we gonna ask Siri. I'm sorry. I, I they probably said it. It may even be in the video. You just but I'm I might have missed it. Yeah. I'm gonna guess that it's the sugars that start to turn it different colors. The sugars. Not like. Specifically, what do you mean? Okay, this is hard to explain. But like, the ingredients inside of the sap like help it turn the darker but how color. How is the question? How does it turn, help it turn? Uh, because as you boil, it gets darker and thicker. Mm -hmm. That's your guess. What's your guess? You know, in science, we learned about all those little parts of a plant mm -hmm. and things. I'm wondering if, like, I know it has heat. The plant needs to have heat. But mm -hmm. what if it has extreme heat to all those little chemicals and <clears> stuff <throat> in it? Does that somehow turn it brown? Where's the heat? In the plant? No, I'm saying, like... <laughs> that stuff all those nutrients that's in the sap and then when it's, it hits extreme heat it, oh, turns, it turns one brown. of those little well that's kind of what turns it brown oh that's kind of what oh Jay that's good though that's that's very scientific Scientist. thinking you're thinking at thinking like of, yeah. the atomic level or yeah you know, like, uh -huh. or like the cellular, cellular level. level that's uh -huh. really good theory how does maple syrup get its brown color i found this on the web they ain't gonna make me read. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. <laughs> As sap boils in the, uh, in the evaporator pan, fructose. Fructose, okay. Is yep. that right? Yeah, fructose, like fruit sugars. Uh huh. Yep. And glucose in the sap are pulled into browning reactions that yield a darker, more flavorful syrup. Huh. So, those things from the heat, from heat, yeah, from the, the heat, heat catalyzes. Yeah. That, those reactions. Uh -huh. Yeah, I win, I win, I win, I win. Okay. I, win, I, win, I mean, it's something we thought, but I just asked if you guys had seen it right. being done. No, I think I think the vat that they were working you on, gotta serve yourself. the uh -huh. evaporator pan they had, mm -hmm. was the, the sap they put in there was fairly fresh. Mm -hmm. It hadn't been boiled long enough okay. for that to happen yet. Oh, I see. So you could see where not only were they running the sap into the pan, and it goes through the channels and gets hotter and hotter. Then once they're done there, they transfer it and filter it. And, um, you know, you saw the process of doing that as well. Um, just a very unique process. And it's kind of funny because uh, I, was, I was giving Mike a hard time because he's so technical about everything, you know. And he just looks like this country guy, you know. You wouldn't expect him to be a mad scientist out here in his <laughs> sugar shack lab yeah. whipping up this stuff but it's a really nice process they have going and they're those 
fellas are very intelligent guys. Oh, they, yes, they wouldn't they brag about it, but they're very sharp. Yeah. yeah, I can't have maple syrup. Right. You're on that healthy stuff, honey. <laughs> Cutting down the sugars. <laughs> but the kids will eat some pancakes, and I know Bella likes maple syrup, and I'll have some too. Oh, yes, she does. Oh, quick announcement. I totally forgot. I'm sorry. Quick announcement. So, Jory will be doing lives um, uh, every other Saturday different at different times. So, mm -hmm. like, this past Saturday, he did 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. Next Saturday, he's going to do 4 p.m. Yeah. So, that way, our dear friends, if you are on one side, you can watch it mm -hmm. on, when it's happening. And if you're on the other side, mm -hmm. you know, so that way we get we can, chance to communicate yeah, live. We with can reach our, more of our audience that Yeah. Way. So and we'll let you know what time. You'll get your notification. So, we'll, turn on your notification. Yeah. Make sure it's on so you can tell when I'm going live. Yeah. If they want us to do some cover a topic, it's going to have right. to be... It'd be at a different time. Different, yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining us for our Sugar Shack outing, our field trip. I mm -hmm. uh, hope you enjoyed watching and seeing how it's made just as much as we did. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to check in soon. But right now, we got some pancakes to eat. So as always, dear friends, keep, keep looking, looking up! up!